Well, Sean, your assistant there in your post-match press conference there was, was one of frustration, really. So close again, but just not quite getting over the line. No, listen, we've got to find a way of um, getting points against these top seven teams. I'm frustrated and I'm, I'm angry that we've not got anything out this afternoon because the performance level, once again, was was good enough to get something. You know, we were, um, we're a whisker away from getting point, maximum points against... Luton last week and, and now Plymouth this week and um, you know they'll be leaving here buzzing that they've come away with a with a maximum three points and we're you know we're we're gutted that we've not got anything out of the game. You've obviously spoken there about, about grabbing that moment. You look at that performance there and you, you're sort of asking can something drop for you. Your message there is, is to make that make that happen for you. Yeah, this is it. You know you can go away from this afternoon and you can say well it wasn't our afternoon. Got to make it your afternoon and that's some, that's the the message I'm giving the players there. You know I'm I'm really honest with everybody. You know and it's the way that I am and I've and I've, just, I've told them there that at this moment in time there's too many moments that we're letting slip. Last week was one. You know this week was one. Once or twice in you know in, in the season as well, we've we've just missed opportunities to. If it's going to be a draw, it'll be a draw. But you don't lose the game. And I felt today we shouldn't have lost that. Having said that, I guess you'll pay credit to, to Plymouth's defensive display. There's two blocks on the line. Obviously, one against the crossbar. On another day, they do fall in, and it is a, it is a slightly different result. I'll always be respectful. Always, you know, I'm a, I like to think I'm a respectful guy. And you know, Derek's. Um, Derek's defensive display today was fantastic. Absolutely was, and uh, he'll look back. And you know, if Plymouth get promoted into League One, he'll probably look back on today's performance and say well, that was a standout performance defensively. And it was. But for us, you know, two occasions where we've, you know, managed to get the first contact on the header from the corners, they go in on different days, don't they? We know that. Today, their player put the body on the line, and they end up getting the maximum points, and we go home with nothing. Notable display from Scott Wharton playing in the system like I guess he won't have been used to before, but he certainly, uh, certainly proved to be quite effective out there. Yeah, to throw the system together yesterday uh, at late notice, we thought Brad Halliday was going to be fit for the game, but you know, unfortunately he missed out. So we didn't have any other right back in the building that could have played. So, you know, it was. Um, I've got to take my hat off to the team as well. You know, they adapted really well. They, we worked on the system on Friday and um, I thought we produced a good performance in it today. Scotty done well just on the outside of the um, centre half position. So I thought he played well today, Scott. I did. I, th I thought he had a good debut. Going forward, a slightly different task next week at Morecambe and then obviously Yeovil following that, but no, no, not much easier really. Yeah, I mean, slightly different in terms of you know not playing a top 17, but the task is exactly the same. The task for us now is we want points on the board, you know, to not win in three. Um, you know, four with, with, with the draw is, um, is disappointing for us and it's um, something that we, we want to address really quickly. But I'm confident we will. You know, within them losses, there's been some real good passages of play. And like I keep saying, you know, it's, it, it's certain parts of the game we've just got to be a lot more ruthless.